What's up guys, my name is on Cage Games. Welcome back to another Mortal Kombat 11 video. Today, I'm going to be doing a topic video on a topic that a lot of you guys want me to do since the game got announced. And that is my MK11 wish list for DLC or DLC wish list. Now, before we go any further though, I got to address that there is supposedly a leak of DLC characters for MK11 out there. I have not looked at any of that. I don't care to look at it. A lot of you guys have said, hey Cage, have you seen this? No, I don't want to because if I know about the leaked characters, if they're real, it'll ruin the surprise. I like to be surprised when I do my reaction videos. I don't care for the leak. I don't know if it's real. I don't know if it's fake. But this DLC wishlist is solely my personal picks. But with that being said, let's start off my DLC wishlist for MK11. The first character I would like to see in MK11 is Sindel. I think Sindel would be a really cool character to bring back in MK11, seeing as there's actually a good amount of Sindel fans out there and they wanted her in the main roster and I actually thought that she was going to be in the main roster of MK11. I'm like, okay, this game, Sindel is going to come back, but apparently she didn't. So I can see her definitely being a DLC character. Also in MK11, there are some modifiers and you can use some teammates to do assist moves in the battle. I don't think there's a Sindel one and that makes Sindel's chances of coming back in MK11 a little bit better. I'm not saying if there's a assist in the game for a character, that means that character's not gonna come back, but it is a better chance. So Sindel not being an assist and a fan favorite, I think it's time for her to come back as DLC. The next character I would like to see be a DLC is the main man, Nightwolf. Again, Nightwolf is also another character that is not an assist character in MK11. So Nightwolf coming back in MK11 as a DLC, I think will be pretty awesome. And if you look at Kotal Khan's gear, he kind of has like a, uh, a bear hat. I feel like just make that a wolf and boom, we got some Nightwolf gear on deck. And again, Nightwolf is also a fan favorite character. A lot of people want to see Nightwolf back. And again, my guesses have been pretty, uh, pretty wrong so far, but I thought Nightwolf was also going to be another character that was going to come back in MK11's main roster, but he didn't. But DLC. The next character on my DLC wish list is Ujin. Another character that I thought was going to be in the main roster, but apparently he didn't make the cut. And I think out of all the characters I named, Fujin might have the least likely chance to come back. And that's only because uh, Cetrion is Amonis. If you guys don't know, Cetrion in MK11 is pretty much like the Avatar. She has fire moves, water, earth, and wind. And Fujin's all about wind. So she kind of took his movesets like... The moves that she did in MK11 or does in MK11, I can see those moves being Fujin. I'm just waiting for someone to do a mod of Cetrion as Fujin, but I want to see Fujin back in MK11. He was pretty freaking awesome in MKX story. I wanted him back. He's not back, but it's time to come back as DLC. People said, oh, Cetrion's in the game. She has win moves. Fujin can't be in the game. But then if you think about it, Sub-Zero is ice. Frost is ice. And they made them play completely different. So I think Netherrealm could do Fujin and Cetrion in the game and make his win moves a little bit different. Up next on my wish list is a fan favorite. A lot of people love these guys. That's right. These guys, multiple. Cyrax and Sector back in the game, please. In MK11, we get to see Cyrax and Sector in the story mode. They look so amazing. Their designs are so bad to the bone. They're so cool. They have movesets already in the game. Sure, their movesets in MK11 is pretty much the copy of MKX brought over to MK11. But still, that's already a better start than other characters that doesn't have any movesets. So, they already have a design. They have some type of moves. And, in the story, Sector actually got an upgrade. So, he just wasn't the red robot. He was the red with like white and gold trim. So he already has some gear in the game. It is just meant to be. Make it happen, Netherrealm. Please. I don't care that I bought Triborg in the last game. I will pay DLC again for the robots. I love Cyrax. He is my favorite robot. And I would love to see him back in MK11 as a playable character. And the last character on my DLC wish list that is not a guest character. So there are going to be more characters. But this is the last MK character on my wish list. Is Takashi Takeda. That is right. Takeda is my last pick for my wish list. I want him back so bad, guys. He was actually one of the characters I really want to see back in MK11's main roster. It was him, Johnny, and Shang Tsung. And we already got Shang Tsung as DLC. There's a lot of reasons why I wanted Takeda back in MK11. One of them being they tease Jackie and Takeda being a thing or being in a relationship at the end of the MKX story. So I'm like, oh, I can't wait to see what happens uh, between their relationship in this new game. Takeda wasn't mentioned 
at all in the story. I was like waiting for him to show up or to mention something. Takeda, there was no Takeda mention. The only thing we got for Takeda and Kung Jin was for like the Towers of Time where there's some certain modifiers where Kung Jin shoots his arrows and Takeda throws his uh daggers down. Some of the employees that worked on Mortal Kombat 11 said that Kung Jin and Takeda are alive in the universe, but apparently they're on a different mission. What? What other mission is more important than fighting Kronika? Come on, guys. Also, another thing. Apparently, Takeda and Jackie are married. And you know how I know that? Apparently, they mentioned that in one of the intros between a certain characters. I don't remember who. I think it might have been Jackie and someone else. But they mentioned that Takeda and Jackie are married. How am I supposed to know this? I know I'm ranting a little bit here. But I really want to see more story progression with Takeda and Jackie. And we didn't get none of that. But at least my boy's alive. Another thing why I want Takeda back in the game is his gear. Already, Takeda's design in MKX was awesome. But seeing the gear possibility in MK11. Oh my goodness. Imagine, guys. He has the different types of mask. That could be awesome. He can change his whips. That could be freaking awesome. Maybe give him a sword because he kind of had like lightsabers in MKX. I'm just saying, man, Takeda would be so perfect for MK11. Those were all the MK characters on my wish list. Now, let's get to the fun stuff. Let's get to the guest characters. Yes, every MK, every Injustice, every NRS game has a guest character. From MK9 with Kratos to MKX with Leatherface and Jason and there's also uh freddy and mk9 as well uh who else am i missing predator alien guest characters are a thing and i'm positive it's gonna be an mk11 as well starting off with my favorite and the one that i really want to see is ash williams from evil dead i've said this and wanted this since mkx when the game was being announced and we got our like first guest character i think it was jason right jason and predator i was like yo Imagine if we got Ash Williams in the game. His dialogue and Johnny's dialogue would be the funniest thing ever. He would be the first guest character that actually talked in the intros. Because if you think back to it, Jason never talked in his intros. Predator made noises, Alien made noise, and Leatherface made noise. No guest character has talked. So, Ash Williams being in MK11, he is going to talk 100% because... How are you going to have Ash Williams in the game and not have him talk? He's going to be like this. No, we're going to have him in the game and make witty comments to other characters. He's going to be another Johnny Cage and I would love to hear them talk to each other. Johnny and Ash. Oh, man, that is my number one DLC guest character. I know I probably should have saved that for last, but I got to talk about it, man. Every time someone asks me, Cage, what guest character would you want to see? Ash Williams. I've been saying this since MKX. I want it. I think it would be awesome. The only thing is, Ash Williams showed up as a guest character in Dead by Daylight not too long ago. So I don't know what the license for the character is all about. So maybe he's not allowed to be used for a certain amount of time because he's in Dead by Daylight. But all I know is he showed up in Dead by Daylight not too long ago. So him showing up in another game in like a less than a year time span might be a little challenging. But fingers crossed, I want Ash Williams so bad. In MK11. The next character on my DLC wish list is Michael Myers. That is right, the main man, Michael Myers. Now, here's the thing that people have been saying though. Oh, Michael Myers is like Jason. We don't want another Jason. He's gonna be boring. He's gonna play boring. Listen, Netherum does a really good job at changing the gameplay of characters. But if people really want a more unique gameplay for Michael and not just another Jason copy, my idea that I've been throwing around on my live streams, check out my live stream at fb.gg slash uncaged games, throw Chucky into his gameplay and make him like a fair tour that one changes gameplay from not being a generic brute like jason and two bringing in another guest character which is chucky people also been saying cage i would love to see chucky in the game what do you think chucky would be interesting but he would not work as a single character he's just too small and his hitboxes would be really weird so to make him work have him on the shoulder of michael myers and literally make him fair tour but michael myers and chucky I think that's such a genius idea. We get two characters for one. And also, if we have that, that fix the whole guest characters not talking their intros. Because if we just have Michael Myers in the game, again, he's another guest character that doesn't talk. So his intro dialogues would be very boring. But if we had Chucky on his shoulder, he could do the trash talking. And Michael could be there and just look mean. But that's my second pick, Michael Myers. If we wanted to spice up his gameplay, throwing Chucky in there. I've been saying this idea for a while now. And I think it will be uh, really cool. And the final character on my DLC wish list for MK11 
is a character that has been talked about since the dawn of time. And that is Spawn. That is right. Spawn has been talked about since Injustice 1, maybe? Man, it's been several years of rumors and talks of, oh yeah, Spawn's gonna show up. He's gonna be guest character. He never showed up. And I thought for sure he was gonna show up in Injustice 2. After the teases of him possibly being in MKX, I'm like, okay, it's happening. Injustice 2, he's showing up. He didn't show up. Bond, if you don't show up in MK11 as a guest character, it's over. All right, you missed the hype train. Everyone got on board, but you were late. So now you can't be in NRS because I feel like it's just been too long, man. It's just been too long. We wanted Spawn for so long and uh, he's just not, he's, he hasn't showed up. So I feel like this is just a running joke now that Spawn is going to be in the next Netherrealm fighting game, but he hasn't showed up. So this is the running joke for Evers and Evers, all right? We're going to be in MK15 and they're going to be like, Spawn DLC? Qu confirm? Question mark? Exclamation mark? No, Spawn's not showing up, but he's on my wish list. And this is the last time I'm putting him on my wish list. If he does not show up in this game, you guys can bet that I will never put Spawn on any other wish list for Netherrealm fighting games. All right, Spawn, you can show up in Street Fighter. But I hope you guys enjoyed my DLC wish list for MK11. If you guys did, drop a thumbs up, comment down below, and let me know what is your DLC wish list for MK11. Again, this was my list. I didn't look at any leaks. I didn't look at anything. So maybe the character of the name are on the leak. Maybe they're not. Again, we don't know if this leak is true or not. I don't want to know about it until Netherrealm actually releases a trailer because I want to be surprised. I feel like it's more fun when I do a reaction to something I don't know about. But let me know your DLC wishlist down below. Like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Ring that bell icon so you guys get notified every time we upload a brand new video. My name is Uncage Games and you just got K. Officially. So, got my chair. Let's line up. Let's do it.